mtu ambaye nimekuja ku notice ni kwamba ni kama ni mtu ambaye hajasoma because he didn't apologize ni mtu yani tu tuseme ni mtu ambaye hajasoma cause sioni vile unaweza aita msanii alafu mtolee scandal ya kitamo 3 years ago ungekuja wakati unioji that there's the, 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 that time and the, the other thing that made me to feel so bad eh nilikuwa nimetoka ngongo cause sikutaka kuchelewa interview yake nilichukua motorbike nikaacha heshima zangu zote na usanii nikachukua motorbike ndio mm. niheshimu ni adhie to them hiyo mm. interview yake ni siku sasa mm. alafu akaenda kuni yani imagine the very first question mm. aliweka audio yangu ya kitambo sana mm. so i felt so bad nikamwona actually siku anamchukulia hivyo huyo mwanamke mm. nilikuwa naona ni mtu heshima lakini i really hata sijui nisemeni ni baraka zangu god because mali mungu ameniweka hakuna mtu anaweza nishushe Fagilia TV wanafagia news zote wanakuletea vitu moto moto subscribe to Fagilia TV Harusi itakuwa Karen lakini si ya kila mtu harusi yangu ni private wedding tarehe ipi tarehe 15 yeah. mwezi wa 1 yeah. yeah. mbona mbona kasi loga ile ka private yeah. okay nikisema harusi yangu itakuwa public kila mtu atakuja yeah. maana mimi ni kipenzi cha watu yeah i'm popular yeah. Sijui ni jana ama ni juzi ulionekana kwa video fulani ukuwa hauna raha eh. ukiteta sana ulienda studio fulani ukafanywa interview na ilikukera sana eh. Nini ni kilichokukera sana hapo Okay for one mm. kama mtu ananiita interview mm. aniita you know a brand yangu siku niita usiche brand yangu mm. I have a name to protect mm. I have fans to take care of kwa hivyo mtu akikuita kwa interview naanze kuongea vitu ambavyo zilipita eh. ni kama alikuwa ametumwa mm. you just I fight Actually I was about to get out of the mm. interview but sababu ile heshima ya fans wangu mm. nilivumilia ikaisha mm. na watu wamepia watu wamekondemu hiyo kitu mpaka management ya radio yenyewe wameniambia they are very sorry mm. hawako expect such kind of behaviors mm. yeah na yule ni mtu ambaye nimekuja ku notice ni kwamba mm. ni kama ni mtu ambaye hajasoma mm. because he didn't apologize mm. ni mtu yani tu tuseme ni mtu ambaye hajasoma cause sioni vile unaweza aita msanii mm. alafu mtolee scandal ya kitamo 3 years ago ungekuja wakati unioji that, 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 that time mm. and the, the other thing that made me to feel so bad eh? nilikuwa nimetoka ngongo cause mm. sikutaka kuchelewa interview yake nilichukua mm. motorbike nikaacha heshima zangu zote na usanii nikachukua motorbike mm. ndio ni heshima ni adhie to them hiyo mm. interview yake ni siku sasa mm. alafu akaenda kuni yani imagine the very first question mm. aliweka audio yangu ya kitambo sana mm. so i felt so bad nikamwona actually siku anamchukulia hivyo huyo mwanamke yeah. nilikuwa naona ni mtu heshima lakini i really hata sijui nisemeni ni, ni baraka zangu god because mali mungu ameniweka hakuna mtu anaweza nishushe ile wakati ulisikia ameweka ile audio mbona huku msimamisha nilimsimamisha mm. nilimwambia acha ni sawa acha nikujibu mm. vile alisikia ameanza kuicheza mm. nilimwambia acha unajua vile alisema alisema acha alisema subiri ni 3 minutes usikiza mm. kasoro tumaliza ni 3 minutes so mm. i was like this this huyu ni mtu wazimu mm. you, you hakuna vile msanii anaweza kuambia hiyo kitu ataki mm. na unaona kabisa nimekatch na feel poor na bado naicheza kwa radio mm. chenye kilinuma kabisa ni kucheza hiyo kitu kwa public mm. maana mimi nimefanya media mm. Sasa hii mtu anapocheza kitu kwa, kwa radio okay. inakuharibia. Eh. Mimi ni mtu mkubwa. Ikuwe ni scandal ya kitambo kuna mtu ambaye anaweza kuwa ajui kile kitu, amekijulia pale. Mm. So ni kama imi yake tu ilikuwa ni been down eh. Maana alicheza yule audio kwa TV, mm. kwa radio mm. and I felt so bad. Huyo mwanamke yani imagine mm. niliona ni yani alinishusha adhi kiasi. Sijui. Kama kuna mtu nikosea, mm. yule alinikosea but namsamee. Mm. Maana si akona mtoto. Eh. Mimi namwachia mtoto najua tunajua mambo yake mengi mm. and najua mimi najua mambo yake mengi sana na nikianza kuyatapika mm. yatamudhi kwa sasa sitaaongea lakini abadilisha tabia zake maana najua tabia zake mingi sana naweza zitoa kwa media mm. lakini namsamee ila aliniumiza sana mm. hakuna vile unaweza nileta scandal kwa radio mm. na wewe kwanza uko na scandal zako tunazijua mm. kwanza alidanganya ngilo alishinda ile kikombe ya machakos ila award ya machakos mm. aku win she was just given mm. alinunua mm. siji ni kunua ama ni kupewa bure she didn't win sasa hiyo na amefanya hata mfanyikazi mwingine pale ambaye aitwa Futwe. Mm. Na hizo ni vitu ulikuwa unazijua kutoka kitambo ama umezijua. Ni vitu najua na nimekuwa nikizinyamazia lakini vile sasa mbe hivyo mm. mambo yake tutaleta vizuri. Kasoro kasoro ni kuuliza mm. eh, vile tunajua kama si wana habari mm. kuwa interview na, na mtu kwanza una una brief mm. zile zile maswali. Questions zenye alikuwa aniulize. So sijui we alikubrief ama She didn't brief me. She didn't brief me. She was like eh. Mm. Ameni mm. kwa kama anasema kudhumu kila. Mm. Aliniuliza tu maswali ambazo alikuwa ameprepare. So mm. I expected her to have prepared me enough mm. for the interview. Mm. She's not like Ned. She is not qualified to be a journalist. Maana mimi nimesomea mambo ya journalism, I know what is right and what is wrong. I know media law. Kuna maswali ufai kuuliza katika onea. Mm. Na kama alikuwa anataka kunipatia brief ya what happened, she could have <coughs> uzima kwanza mm. kwa live, mm. then aniekea mimi kwa simu, mm. alafu anibize swali. So I can say she is not qualified to be a journalist. She is unqualified journalist.
Kasulu umesema umesomea mambo na media na Na niko na degree yake kwanza. Wacha wao wanasomea hapa Muturo. Mm. Yeah, huko na degree lakini hatujai kuona mahali kufanya kazi ya journalism ama digital. Nimepata ofa mingi nimeitwa na Musambe alikuwa anataka kunipatia kazi nikamwambia kwa sasa sitaweza mm. maana niko busy. Actually nilikuwa ningekuwa ni, 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 nishaajiriwa. Mm. Saa hii utaniajiri unipeleke wapi to be honest. Mm. Niliambia Musambe is a friend of mine nikamwambia baba sitaweza kwa sasa lakini with time nitakuja kufanya hiyo kazi. Maana Musambe is my friend. Mm. Very close friend. Hivyo watu wangojea kasolo siku moja atakuja. Maybe nilikuwa na radio yangu ama nilikuwa na TV yangu mimi kuajiriwa itakuwa ngumu sana. Mm. Unless sasa I don't know. Kasolo mwezi wa 4 uko na kitu kubwa umetuandalia yeah, uko yeah, na harusi. Yeah. Hebu alika mashabiki wako na uambie itakuwa wapi na itakuwa date yeah. ipi ama unataka kuweka person sana. Harusi itakuwa Karen lakini si ya kila mtu. Harusi yeah. yangu ni private wedding. Eh. Yeah. Tarehe ipi? Tarehe 15. Eh. Yeah. Mwezi wa 1. Eh. Yeah. Ya. Mbona mbona kasolo kaiweka private? Yeah. Okay, nikisema harusi yangu itakuwa public kila mtu atakuja. Yeah. Maana mimi ni kipenzi cha watu. Yeah, I'm popular. Yeah. Na kwa nini usikasono juu vile wanapenda na watu na vile wanajua pia watu wanakufuata sana. Kwa nini harusi yako usiege mali kama kwa stadium ndio kila mtu akiwa na Nikiaga kwa stadium itaribu mambo mengi. Bila mm. nitafanya tukishafanya harusi mm. tutakuwa na event ya kuja kuona mashabiki wangu mimi na mama Shai na mtoto wetu. Tutakuwa na event kubwa kuja kusherekea pamoja lakini for now harusi ni ya watu chache mm. ni kama 200 people. Mm. Na itakuwa Karen mm. gate itafungwa hakuna mm. mtu ataingia mtu kwa TV. <laughs> lakini si wana habari utatualika wana habari nita choose wenye nitaita maana i can't call and qualified people to come eh. yeah watu <laughs> tunasema unqualified unqualified journalist eh. wale mtu anajipata tu anajua kuongea tu eh. i bet lazy siku ambapo mbona ndio anataka kutoka journalist tamu hizo ambazo tu team journalist mbona eh. ti qualified journalist ndio ambako kulikuwa kule fake katika media ona kila mtu anatanga mpaka atangazaji anasema she is unqualified she is unqualified yeah So tumekuwa tukipiga story na mwanamuziki wetu kutoka ukambani Kasolo. Asante sana baba. God bless you so much. Na nina appreciate mashabiki wangu. Nimefika 445,000 subscribers. Actually I'm leading in gospel. Kati wa wasanii wa gospel Kenya mzima. Mimi naongeo naongoza kwa subscribers. Congratulations. So I appreciate. Imeona ile list ya mpasho. Eh like eh Yeah, niko hapo namba nimefuata Nadia Mukami. So I thank God. That's a favor. Yeah. Na mtoto wangu pia ni celebrity. Yeah. Mtoto wangu ana 40,000 oh, subscribers. Good. I thank God we love our fans. It the Lord bless you so much. Na kasolo vile tunajua watu wakifikisha kama hiyo simba battle hiyo za kuchukua, huwa anaweka sherehe, anaita mashabiki wanakuja wanasherehekea pamoja. Sijui wewe sherehe yako hapo ya subscribers kuzingoje nini? Sikuweka na okay, hiyo ni ya milioni. Hiyo ni kitu kidogo lakini ya milioni lazima itafanya kwa stadium. Mm. I thank God. Niko na vitu mingi za kufanya. So hiyo ni kitu kipeti sana kwa. Naelekea nusu milioni. Naelekea nusu milioni na pia nikifika nusu milioni naweza chinja ngombe niite mm. bloggers wale qualified. Mm. Yeah, I'll work with uh, qualified. Yeah, people with minds. Okay. Yeah. Asante sana Kasolo. Thank you. God bless you. Okay.